Hi, I'm Brian from Model Service Solutions. Today we're going to go through how to set up and operate our brake fluid flush machine, the BFX20. After you have removed the product's packaging, check for any damage to the unit or any of its included accessories prior to operation. Before performing your first brake fluid service, connect the BFX20 to a fresh fluid container and bleed air from the system. Plug the unit in and unscrew the lid of the new brake fluid container. Place the new fluid in the holder of the unit. Next, you'll want to feed the suction hose down to the bottom of the fluid container. The depth can be adjusted by sliding the rubber cone up and down the hoses. Be sure not to mount the adapter on the vehicle when you go to bleed the brake fluid unit. Instead, fill the hose and hold the hose over the waste fluid container. Next, turn the unit on, flip the start switch to the on position, hold the adapter over the waste fluid unit until the brake fluid is dispensed without any air bubbles. To complete the startup procedure, disconnect the adapter from the fill hose while the pump is running and flip the start switch to the off position. To remove brake fluid from the master cylinder reservoir, make sure that the waste fluid container is empty and connected. Unscrew the lid of the master cylinder reservoir. Next, flip the switch for emptying the master cylinder to the on position to turn on the suction pump. Hold the suction hose in the opening of the brake fluid master cylinder reservoir and remove the brake fluid inside. As an added feature, the BFX20 has a suction function for removing fluid from the master cylinder reservoir. The suction hose comes with a filter that is designed to keep large particulates of dirt away from the pump. Once the reservoir has been empty, flip the master cylinder switch to the off position and turn off the suction pump. To complete this process, dispose of the waste brake fluid as indicated in the safety data sheet for the brake fluid. When performing a brake fluid exchange service, it's important to observe the vehicle manufacturer's instructions about the maximum filling pressure. Follow the guidelines provided by the manufacturer for bleeding the brake system. The factory settings of the pressure control on the BFX20 is a working pressure of two bar. This ensures that the brake fluid master cylinder reservoir is not deformed and that there are no leaks at the bleeders. The first step to perform a service with the BFX20 is to install the adapter included with the unit onto the opening of the brake fluid master cylinder. Connect the fill hose on the previously mounted adapter and flip the power switch to the on position. Once the unit is turned on, hold down the start button until the pressure has reached at least 0.5 bar. The operating pressure, which has a maximum level of 3.5 bar, can be adjusted to the desired operating pressure using the pressure control dial on the front of the panel of the unit. While this process is running, check the adapter's connection to the master cylinder reservoir for proper connection and ensure that there are no leaks. If you happen to find that brake fluid is escaping, switch the unit off immediately and look for the cause of the leak. Now bleed the brakes one after another by opening the valve on each brake cylinder, beginning with the back right, the back left, the right front, and the left front wheel. Collect the old brake fluid in the waste container. Close the valve again as soon as the new brake fluid escapes from the drain hole without any air bubbles. Once that process is complete, switch off the BFX20 by flipping the power switch to the off position and check the pressure gauge to see if the pressure has fallen. Something to keep in mind, the BFX20 usually decreases the existing pressure. However, if the pressure was reduced during the filling process, the pressure will remain in the system and the pressure adjustment valve must first be released. To do this, turn the pressure adjustment dial to the right after switching off the unit until the point of release has been reached. The working pressure should then fall to zero bar. To complete the service after the machine is switched off, simply disconnect the pressure free fill hose from the adapter. If the service was successful, the brake fluid master cylinder reservoir will now be full. If you find that there is too much fluid in the reservoir, use the suction function of the BFX20 to lower the fluid level to the max fill line. It is important to note that after bleeding process or after the brake fluid exchange service, if the pedal actuation of the brake or clutch pedal is too long or the buildup of pressure is too soft, the braking or clutch system must be bled again after powerfully activating the brake or clutch several times. This completes the setup operation instructions for the BFX20. For more information, please contact us at the link below.